Okay, we've got our magic sculpt set in our lip line. Now we're going to go along with a modeling tool and a brush, and we're going to continue some of, the, of the, the slight little depressions that we've got in that lip, and we're also going to take a terry cloth towel, and we're going to give it just a little bit of texture uh, so that it's not quite as smooth. We just want to take and break up that nice, smooth magic sculpt that's on here. So initially we'll continue some of the little striations that we've sculpted into that lip. And once again, lighting is just absolutely critical. When you think you've done a really good job on your magic sculpt, come back in with a flashlight, hit it with a little light. And when you hit it with light, what you need to remember is don't just look at it straight on. A lot of times I'll take and run that from the side, which will show me the true uh, definition of what we've got going on there. Once we get our striations in here, we'll come back and we'll just mellow those out a little bit. And we're just trying to blend it so that you can't tell where our transition from skin to sculpted lip line is. Last thing we'll do is take a terry cloth towel, either use the epoxy solvent or a little bit of water, and I'm just going to come right along the bottom and just put a little bit of texture in the bottom of this lip line. Now if we look at the reference here, on the inside upper portion of that mouth, if it's anything, it is definitely not smooth. So don't be afraid to put lots of texture up in this area right here. And having good reference photos for what you're trying to duplicate is absolutely priceless. You're just adding just a little bit more magic sculpt here. And what we're gonna do is continue texturing and smoothing our transition all the way around the mouth, get up this other lower lip line. We're gonna put just a little bit of water on here and you can either put epoxy solvent or water here to help dilute this a little bit and make it a little bit easier to deal with. Spots on the top of the nose, we'll use this section. Down along this bottom area, we'll use the bottom. And we're just gonna roll that in. And it doesn't just mean that you roll it in and you're done. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of uh, adjusting with the brush. As you can see right here in the brown magic sculpt that we've actually got from rolling our uh, template in on that, you can see that it's picking up some of the detail just like what we've got up here on the artificial nose right there. And we're just going to continue that across the bridge of that nose. Now what we've got going on here is we've pushed that latex mold down into here and we've got our detail uh, across the bridge of this nose. Once we hit that with some black paint and We'll actually run the black paint back behind this nose and into that skin area. Once we do that and come over that, you're going to have a real tough time even seeing the transition from artificial nose to Okay, We're going to be using Lifetone lacquer based paints today. Uh, the finishing colors that we're going to be using on the Black Bear are Natural Flesh, Dusty Pink, Jet Black, Dark Brown, and then we'll also have Retarder and Thinner that we'll be adding to the paints to thin them down a little bit and we'll be finishing off with a little bit of liquid crystal. 
And we're just going to work right along that magic sculpt line. And we don't have to go all the way down because we're going to be coming up back up with our black, but we do want to knock down the, the harshness of where this magic sculpt line is. It's a very prominent line, and you'll see as we come along with the airbrush, we'll make that line a little less obvious. And we're going to take a small brush and remove just a little bit of our paint around that nose before we start with our black. Like I said, we'll want to actually come down into the skin. Just like an African animal, you're actually going to have to go down and paint some of that skin through the hair and don't worry about overspray right now. We'll come back through and clean that hair off when we get done and remove some of the paint on that hair. Kind of do it in a circular motion because we want to remove the paint from the hair without taking it off the skin.